Okay, um, right now it's around 1 p.m. and uh, wow, it was uh, cloudy all day long and right now we're producing 650 plus watts. I only have 8 130 uh, watt panels. Uh, in three banks of uh, two thousand series. All right. Um, only this two grid tie inverters are producing, or well, were producing around six hundred and fifty watts. Right now, they're only producing two hundred and thirty-five. Um, I have six panels connected to this one and two panels connected to the and Supra uh, grid tie inverter uh, one thing I wanted to point out is that uh, I also have an Intronix MPPT charger this controller can charge a uh, 48 volt um, battery banks but uh, I'm using it right now at 12 volts since uh, I have Two 12 volt. Let me so. I have two 12 volt um, inverters, and I'm kind of tied to them uh, for the moment. Um, I tried with two different battery types to uh, uh, use it at 24 volts, but uh, when we had a blackout uh, and started charging at 24, I noticed that one of the batteries. Uh, was overcharged and 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 then get to a normal voltage until the other one dropped I mean uh, charged so you know until they leveled and and you know it's therefore they they will suffer the batteries will suffer okay the thing is the good thing about the the, the Entronix uh, MPPD charger that I'm using right now when these these batteries go you know when I use these batteries and take energy from them um first uh since this will drop to around 26 uh, volts charging batteries this inverter right here which starts uh at 28 volts will not generate to the grid until the intronic starts to reject the energy uh, uh when the batteries are charged and then when and when all that this doesn't use and 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 the voltage start climbing then the 1000 watt inverter we use so that's that's kind of neat um, I did it by chance I, 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 I but, but that's what I saw and uh, I'm, I'm glad that I bought this one and combined it with the Entronix alright I don't know if you've seen this one in eBay and I tried also to combine the two, the Ansupra and this one, uh, with the same uh, panels. But since this one uh, starts at 28 volts and this one starts at 22, then this one took all the load of the panels and this one shut down. Because this one operates at 28 and this one will not let that voltage go up. So what I did was separate the panels I added two more panels and 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 connected them to this one and then the other six panels I had I left with this one and the um, and the Entronix all right I went ahead and ordered a Chinese uh, MPV charger for this one for this two uh, uh, solar panels and to charge the same batteries all right the same batteries so uh, right now, if I get a blackout, I will not be using this to charge the batteries, but when the MPVT charger uh, gets here, um, I will be using it, alright? Um, the thing is, I, I went ahead and, and ordered, uh, not because um, I wanted to separate, not only because I wanted to use the both um, grid tie inverters, but also um, I wanted to charge, I wanted to take some load off of this um, MPTT charger since I was uh, I'm gonna have around 1000 watts 
and at 12 volts um, at 12 volts that would be you know this could handle only uh, I believe 900 and you know I, I didn't want to risk it even though it says that uh, it will limit itself to 78 amps but I don't want to you know I don't want to uh, put extra work to it I don't want to damage it or anything I don't want to uh, overload it that's a word um, okay uh, I will update this video um, as soon as I can when I get the Chinese MPPT charger uh, I want it uh, I want it uh, for around ninety dollars uh, on eBay it was an auction echo worthy I believe was a company that that, that I want the, or the eBay user I, I want it from so you know okay take care guys uh, this is directly from Puerto Rico uh, saving energy alright take care guys bye bye